my name is Susanna Eikach, and I'm a fourth grade student at Albuquerque School of Excellence. I want my projects is about force area and pressure. If I push down the balloon with the snap. <laughs> As you have seen, I when I tried it with one nail, the balloon popped. But if let's see if we try it with 100 nails, if it pop, it isn't popping easily. Now I'll put more pressure on it. Now I'm gonna put a book on it. I'm pushing it down to pop the balloon. Let's see. Let's see when it's gonna pop. <laughs> Do this with the thumbtacks. <laughs> the balloon won't pop easily when I use 30, 30 thumbtacks. You can see the balloon is popping. Hmm. Um, will the balloon I pop if I use? More than one nail. The hypothesis was, if the balloon popped with one nail, then it'll pop, it'll pop e easily with 100 See, nails. The balloon didn't. The balloon didn't pop easily. I was wrong. So, so I researched. I, I researched it to find out why. One nail, the balloon will pop. But when there are 100 nail, the balloon won't pop. The um. When you get one nail and push down the balloon, there will be a big pressure in it. But when you get more nails and push it to the, push it down to the balloon, there will be small groups of pressure. So that's why the balloon won't pop. Now I want to try the same experiment with the cut. Now I want to see if the. Now I want to see if I if I step on one cup. If it'll get squished with more cuts. Did you see the difference? This one took longer and this one took shorter because because they have the different different pressure.
İçindeki As you can see, the I'm putting the balloon on the broken glasses, but the balloon doesn't pop. Thank you.